All right, we have the new EG4 waterproof 5.1 kilowatt hour, 51.2 volt battery. Uh, this is the exact same battery architecture that everybody knows from the 51.2 volt rack mount, except for it is in a waterproof format. The Brute weighs about 90 pounds. It's kind of heavy, but it packs a tremendous amount of storage inside of it. Uh, with the new version, all of the electronics, indicators, etc., have been put inside of the battery in order to maintain an IP68 rating. So we can be submerged up to three meters in water and not have moisture get in. So this is about as good as it's going to get on water ingress. The cells inside are welded. I'm not going to cut one open for you here, but they're welded together just like the 12 volts that we have on another video on our YouTube channel. So check that out if you wanna see how these things are built. The exciting part about this battery is it has a Bluetooth app for iPhone and Android that allows you to see what's going on with the battery, the state of charge, the amperage, uh, the voltage, everything you need to know the current status. If it trips off because it was overloaded or over temperatured, and it'll also tell you what the temperature is, then you're gonna be able to see that on the app. So let's do a quick walkthrough. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go do a couple things uh, to run. We have over here a couple circular saws and we also have a dryer. We're gonna go and use both of those. The dryer will probably trip this because dryers are over the 5,000 watts, 100 amp continuous. Uh, but you'll see that you can pull a full 100 amps out of it. Uh, so without much further discussion, we have the five kilowatt grow watt inverter. I'm gonna have that hooked up straight to here with one cable set. I'm gonna turn it on and just access my phone here. All right, so I have the EG4 app. You can get this from the app store. Uh, we've turned on the inverter. It's getting ready to power up. So I'm going to hit connection. And if you look at what's going on on the screen, there is a list of batteries, including the one that says 52100, which is this, 52 volts, 100 amps. Now it shows right now 79% state of charge at 1.9 amps current. So we can see, and if we go and step here, we can see the voltage of every cell in the battery. So this is a fair amount of information for you as a user to see what the current state of the battery is. And it's really hard to run on the voltage with the lithium so this app's very, very handy if you're going to use this in a field application. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and start by turning on those saws on the count of three. One, two, three. So as you can see, we were burning 27 amps continuous. The surge, which you didn't catch on screen, was 75 when we've gone and tested these. The Bluetooth only updates every few seconds. Uh, so it's something, and it's also a really good idea if you wanted to build a lithium job site generator. And this, this has got enough juice in it to run. That's two 15 amp motors. That was the startup surge on them. Uh, and now let's go ahead and try the dryer. Obviously we got the inverter nice and running the fans. So when on the count of three we're gonna go with that. One, two, three. Hundred and twelve amps. And everything just turned off because a hundred amps is the trip point. It will take about an hour to fully charge this battery with 100 amps of charge, or four hours to charge for a 25 amp charger. When you do what we just did, which is trip the battery off based on either A, overcharging it, which you shouldn't do, or B, what we did, which was over amperaging it. We overloaded the battery, we were pulling more than 5,000 watts out of it. We were pulling about 6,000 watts of DC power. When you do that, it takes about a minute to reset itself. There's no switches here. There are no buttons. 
So you can read on the phone that it is in protect mode. That way you know what's going on. That's how you, that's how you diagnose the battery and understand what's, what's, how it's operating at any given point in time. Really, there's nothing else to, to really go over with this battery other than like any lithium battery. It's really not gonna like an environment where it gets below 32 degrees. Uh, it, in theory, should never go below zero degrees. And that's really it. That's everything we have for this battery. Uh, pretty much like what everybody knows, just waterproof and uh, Bluetooth managed.